Hi, my name is Jamie. Um, a friend of mine, Jess, posted up Ponichon's Christmas videos and my heart swelled. I got so excited and so happy watching Sean do what he did, does and watching all of these amazing people and watching these people's faces light up when they talk to Sean and watching Sean's face light up when he talked to them and when he helped them. It just completely moved me and I've never seen a charity that does that to somebody. I decided to um, message Sean and said I need to get involved in this, I, I have to. The first time we went out on the streets, we got to Football Oval in, I think, Cook's Cray. And that was the first time that I'd ever been out, the first stop that I'd ever done. And there was this woman with a little girl. We helped this little girl find a beautiful dress and find a nice pair of jeans and a nice top. And this woman was a carer for this little girl and she was so moved by Anonymous and by our care and the fact that we just treated her like like a normal person. Just kind of stand back and watch everyone interact with these people who are less fortunate but they're still people and to realise that I was making a difference. I never felt anything like that before so I suppose that is probably my favourite experience. Mm -hmm. What impact do you think Anonymous X has? I think Anonymous X is really starting to make a change and make a real difference, make a difference in, in Melbourne. And I have people come up to me all the time and say, oh my God, you're amazing what you're doing. You guys are just so incredible for being able to help other people. And I think it has a significant impact on the people who are watching us help. So when we're sharing on social media and talking about it, People are really starting to think about making a difference and starting to want to help and want to get involved. We've started making a real massive impact on homeless people's lives. I see anonymous sex in five years' time. I see it Australia-wide. I see us helping people get off the streets. Maybe we can put a roof over somebody's head one day.